Joining me now is Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Senator Blackburn, uh, Nashville yeah. happened within about an hour. I get a group text from mothers, concerned mothers, panicked, fearful, worried for their children. To my knowledge, I did not see any other senator besides you and Senator Haggerty come out with a plan in the immediate aftermath to protect my child tomorrow. What is your dealings with President Biden and why would he reject this? It is just un unseemly that there would be such a rejection of this by the Democrats. Everybody should be for the Safe School Act, Kaylee. They should want to do this tomorrow, as you mm -hmm. were saying, to keep our children safe. This is something I have worked on since 2018. Tried to get it passed then, tried to get it passed last year after the Uvalde shootings. But to have this grant pool and to allow local school systems and local law enforcement to work together to bring in veterans and retired law enforcement to serve as a security officer at a school. They know how to use weapons. They know how to de-escalate situations. I've talked to a lot of them. They like this idea. They are grandparents, like we are, my husband and I are grandparents, and they want to be there to help protect children. This would also allow schools to have cameras and people to watch the cameras and bulletproof doors and the film on windows, the locks that are necessary to be certain that children are safe in that, in that school environment and so that parents can have the confidence that their children are going to be safe. Senator Blackburn, you know, one thing that's been on my heart when I think about this issue, um, there was a case, and it was Madeline Murray O'Hare who brought it, the case that banned school prayer. Her son ended up coming to faith. He became a minister. And here is one thing that he said. He, he noted this, because it was Baltimore Public Schools where prayer was initially banned. He said, July 17, 1963, was the first day Baltimore's children could not pray in schools. Before that date, there had never been a murder in a Baltimore school. How much of this is faith leaving the human heart uh, and this mental illness we're seeing and the cultural place we're at causing the violence and chaos we're seeing in our schools? Kaylee, as a mother and a grandmother, I worry about this every single day. And it is just of such concern to me when you talk about the mental health issues. People that are homicidal, people that are suicidal ought not to have any type weapon, whether it's a car or a knife or a gun or anything that can cause harm. And as we know right now, there are people that are homicidal and are suicidal and they are getting that car or that bomb or that dynamite or that gun or the knife and they are committing harm. Mm. And we have to find a way to say, how are we going to keep people safe? in the public space. And a great starting part is the Safe Schools Act. And for the Democrats Absolutely. to be against this is something that I cannot imagine why anybody would oppose the Safe School Act I, I can't keeping either. children safe. I can't either, either. You know, 10 seconds here, Senator Blackburn, will we end up seeing the manifesto, do you think? My understanding is that the writings are with the judge mm -hmm. and they're redacting some things. I do want us to all be sensitive to the families that are involved of here. Course. But the people of Tennessee deserve to know what happened and uh, how this shooter went about making a decision. No doubt. Thank you very much from a mother you got it. for putting forward a solution. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.